Hey everyone, it's Goddess Puffin. Welcome to my channel. This reading is for the sign of Aquarius and is intended for the next 72 hours. So let's get started with an oracle card message for all Aquarius placements. Keep in mind, this could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it is intended for the next 72 hours. There's no gender in tarot. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. This is a general reading. It will not resonate for everyone, so keep what resonates and please check what doesn't. Feel free to flip and reverse the roles whenever and however you see fit. And please excuse the weaking sounds in the background. <laughs> that is my guinea pig, Raven, and she acts up every time she hears me shuffling my cards. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Aquarians for the next 72 hours? Whoa, okay. 34, Voyage, you already have all the answers. Nice, I love seeing that card. I rarely see it, but when I see it, I love it. Princess, you can be your own knight, number one. Period, sis. <laughs> and overall energy. Homeward, take yourself out on a date. Excuse me, number 42. Wow, okay. Very strong, beautiful message here. Let's get started with the tarot. So I see you as you, you're taking a big leap, making a big jump here. You could be going on a trip. You could be moving switching jobs, whatever it is, you're making a, a huge life change. I wanted to say spiritual life change, huge spiritual change and life change here. And it's like you're being very strong and independent, whether you're married, together, with single, whatever it is. It's like you're saving yourself from a situation. You're taking charge of your life. You're not waiting for other people. If you want to do something, you're just doing it. You're not waiting for other people to give you an answer or a sign or anything. You're just like following your heart and getting things done. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> for my Aquarians. What do you have for my Aquarians for the next 72 hour spirit? It almost felt like no cards were going to come out for you today. Like that was the reading right there. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're getting stuff done here. You're taking charge. And Pentacles are Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You are getting things done. The Emperor, wow. You could be dealing with a father figure at this time. Hmm. But the Emperor could very well be you. And the Emperor is also Aries. So someone here is taking charge of their life, taking hold. Maybe starting a business, getting promoted. You could be a CEO, matriarch of the family, whatever. Or you could be dealing with someone like this. Ten of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wow. So this is going to happen. I can already see multiple storylines for you, Aquarius. You could be a family person or you could have a family that you're providing for. It's the Star card, of course, your major arcana, Aquarius, hope and healing for your family, for your loved ones. One more time. I mean, one more card. Seven of Wands. So there is hope and healing for some type of battle you're in. You may feel like your back is against the wall or everyone's turned against you in this situation. Or you may feel the weight of the world, like you're getting attacked from every angle. But there's also an element of success with the um, Seven of Pentacles. I mean, y'all, I'm sorry. Seven of Pentacles is the overall energy. That's why I said it. <laughs> but you have two sevens. So... I'm not going to pretend like I know what that means, but look up two sevens. <laughs> look up what 77 is as an angel number. But there's an element of success with the seven of wands. Because though you feel backed against the wall, you have the tools to beat out all of the seven of those wands. Because in the original deck of the tarot, the person has their staff and they're like ready to just beat everybody. And there's also the element of the six of wands here. So whatever you're up against, whatever it feels like is attacking you or hitting you from all angles, you 
you will beat this. You will win this, especially with the star card. There's hope and there's healing for a situation. Overall, with the seven of pentacles, you're changing the way you invest in this in a situation. You see very long term with whatever situation this is, whether it's a job or a business you're starting or a relationship, friend, family member, coworker, whatever. You see long term and you're changing the way you invest in it. Reevaluating your investment here trying to do things better you already have all the answers it's just applying it you know and especially with the um the seven of wands and this oracle card it's like you can be your own knight you can beat these people or handle whatever task this just could be like a bunch of tasks hitting you from all angles maybe a bunch of bills hitting you from all angles i don't know Either way, you can save yourself, and you are. You already have all the answers. You already know what you need to do. It's just about doing it. And don't forget to love yourself in, all throughout this process. Take yourself out on a date. You can take this literally. You can go out in the woods and chill with the birds like she is. You can go out to eat. You can go to Dave & Buster's. You can sit home and watch TV and eat your favorite snack. You need that type of balance when you're dealing with this type of energy. I can't help but think about this being involving a group of people. This could be your friends, family, or just someone you're married to or dating. You're doing this for the family. You're doing this for the people you love. But let me not talk too much because I could get caught up with the first initial cards. Let me get some um, clarifiers. Raven, please. I just fed you. I mean, I love hearing the squeaks. It's so cute. That means she's either super happy or she wants more food. But she always does it while I'm... And she's literally eating hay right now, guys. She's literally eating hay. But she's squeaking at the same time. <laughs> All right. Let's get these clarifiers. Raven is stealing the show. Comment down below if you want Raven to do the next few readings. <laughs> All right. Let's get these clarifiers. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Okay, okay, okay. So clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, which is you working hard towards the goal. There's the Four of Swords, which is rest. And then the Six of Swords. Moving forward, letting things go. You could be practicing your meditation. And that allows you to free yourself and move to calmer waters here. You could be studying a lot for a promotion or some type of test. You could be in school. I see that it's calling for you to rest here, though. And, you know, you may be working a little too hard. That's why it's time to take yourself out on a date. Don't forget to take breaks. You got to find that balance between, you know, working hard and resting hard, you know. Be lazy sometimes. <laughs> It'll allow you to let things go. You gathered enough information. For those of you who feel like you need to keep attaining information and you need to keep going and go, 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 you already have all the answers. If you're studying, take a break, take a rest, let it go. For now, of course. Because you have everything you need. Clarify the Emperor. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior card. Also the card of Perseverance. You're at your last stretch of something. Clarify the, wow, yep. Star card, hope and healing. So you've shown up twice in your own reading, Aquarius. Whoever this emperor is, whether it's you, Aquarius, or someone you're dealing with, this person is trying to persevere. I'm seeing it as you, whether you're a boss, business owner, matriarch of the family, whatever, I'm seeing it as you. You're trying to persevere and you should. You're at the last stretch of it, but take time to rest, hope and healing. You could be going through a healing process. You could just be focused on your healing right now. 
And for those of you who are just focused on healing themselves, take that time to rest. There is hope and healing. But I feel like you're just so close. You're just so close with this nine of wands. It's like you're you're at the the brink of healing, if that makes sense. What you need right now is rest because it'll allow you to let go. I'm seeing this about hope and healing for you. And I know I keep saying it, but I'm just seeing it as like healing. You already have all the answers in this situation. I see like you're just moving, moving, moving when you need to sit still. Clarify the Ten of Cups. The Hermit card. Yeah, you just keep getting cards about setting still. Four of Swords. And then we have the Hermit card, which is deep introspection. Going within. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Maybe you're trying to decide what the Ten of Cups is for you. And then the Princess of Pentacles. Hmm. You could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aries or another Aquarius. Of course, you could be dealing with any sign. I just said Virgo because of the, the Hermit is Virgo. But either this person or you are taking their time. You know, maybe you're trying to start again with this person and take it slow. And the only reason I say start again, because the Seven of Pentacles has an element of reevaluating an investment, something you've been dealing with, you know. You may, whoever this is for you, have tried multiple times to heal the situation or maybe you're healing other aspects of it. Because, you know, once you think you're healed, you got to heal more. But the amplified energy I'm seeing so far is the star card. So you are going to heal this situation, whatever it is for you. But the main thing you need to focus on is healing yourself first. Because when you change what's going on within you, it reflects outward. So I keep seeing go within, go within, heal. And you'll heal your situation. Well, clarify the star card. This is a beautiful reading. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so you upgraded from a page of Pentacles to a knight. You're still taking your time. Oh, you have the Knight of Pentacles twice. Just realize that. But again, you're taking your time. But you're upgrading your speed. The more you heal, the faster you go. Which... I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> the more you heal, the faster you move, the more you upgrade your your pace, the closer you get to your goal. So the main thing is to stay on your path is what I'm getting. If you're worried that you're not on the right path or you're not in the right job or whatever it is, stay on this path. You're doing well. You're You're just so close. I just keep wanting to say that you're so close. To healing or a breakthrough or some type of wishing on a star maybe I just see you're so close you just have to go within clarify the star oh I can't wait till I get the <laughs> the clear concise message for this because I feel like I'm just at the edge of it and I keep saying that for you like you're almost there clarify the star is what I keep getting for you you're almost there king of cups yeah, this is all about healing your heart space. This is emotional for you, emotional time here. Hmm. You may be healing the way you give love, opening yourself up to give more. Clarify the seven of wands. Seven of wands, please, spirit. Hmm. Five of swords. Clarify the seven of wands. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Overall, the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups twice here, Aquarius. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I know this reading may have been all over the place. But what I'm seeing here is whether this is a job, family member, friend, husband, wife, whatever. <clears throat> I'm seeing that you're trying to heal this situation. This person is your Ten of Cups. Or this job is your Ten of Cups. Or this business is your Ten of Cups. Whatever this is for you, it is your Ten of Cups. You're happily ever after. You could be feeling like the world is attacking you or people are attacking you from all angles. But the Five of Swords, that's conflict, competition, that's harsh words. Could be some type of manipulation or control in some way, shape, or form. 
it just you may feel back into a wall and just hurt but there's an ace of pentacles coming out of this you could be fighting for a job a position or um <clears throat> a promotion either way it's it's hard right now because you're so close to a breakthrough that is what this message is about it's you're it's hard because you're so close to a breakthrough and that's so weird that I'm getting that. I've never gotten a message like that. I forgot what the saying is. But it's like, I know you've probably seen the picture online where it's like this person's tunneling underground and they give up right before they reach the diamonds. It's like you're so close to whatever this breakthrough is for you. Don't give up. And you don't have to keep searching because you have all the answers. You're right. You're exactly where you need to be. I'm gonna write that down, you're so close. And that is the Virgo in me writing down the title. So close. It's like your destiny is here. The main thing you need to do is, easier said than done, it's like, you need to do the opposite of what you want to do right now. It's like, you wanna keep going, you wanna keep doing this. I mean, well, you should keep going, of course. But it's like, you wanna break off and start this. It's like, you wanna just, keep starting new things. No, what you need to do is keep going, doing what you're doing. And also <sighs> nurture yourself. This is weird, but it's like homeward. And then we have the hermit. It's like going within, taking care of home. Then we have the four of swords. I'm seeing these all as a card of rest. Rest, peace and rest. doing some inner work, healing yourself. That is your focus right now. Because you are right where you need to be, Aquarius. Whatever new job or business or relationship, whatever you're in right now, you're exactly where you need to be. You're in a space of healing. Maybe you and this other person are in a space of healing. That I'm seeing just just rest, the Aquarius. Just rest. You don't need to keep fighting. Like you're exactly where you need to be. And I'm sorry if this reading was all over the place. This is this is more so a reading about your own spiritual growth and less about your job or lover or whatever. Cause the main thing is the hermit. So you need to just again just take care of yourself. You have everything you need, Aquarius. All right, and that is your reading for the next 72 hours. I know it was all over the place, but please leave a comment down below. <laughs> See you all. Peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.